So I wanted to share a quick tip on how you go about modifying either an NTSC U North American Dreamcast or Japanese Dreamcast to work in Europe uh, or vice versa without using either a, a step up or a step down converter. And the problem is in America or uh, Japan they use a different main supply voltage so you can see in the back of the console here this is my NTSC U console that I've just got and um, I'm going to be modifying this one. You can see in the back here, the input voltage required is 120 volts and it's the same for the Japanese uh, Dreamcast as well. But here in Europe, our main supply voltage is 230 volts. So if I turn this PAL console over here, you can see PAL there, the input voltage for this is 220 to 240 volts. So uh, basically what would happen is if I plugged in the power supply or the power cord for my PAL console, which is this thing here, this is the UK uh, style plug and that's just a standard uh, power uh, adapter thing there. If I plug this into the American or the Japanese Dreamcast without modifying them first, it would blow up the, the power supply unit uh, and basically make it unusable. Um, so what you'd usually use is this thing here and this is a, a step down converter as you can see you can use this in a, a bunch of different consoles but uh, what this does it will take the 230 volt uh, European voltage mains voltage and step it down to 100 volts so you could then use this one to power your, your Japanese or American Dreamcast and uh, you can see here it's just got an adapter for the plug and your standard power cord but this is really bulky and generates heat and noise and well this one does because it's broken but you've got all these extra wires everywhere and it's not nice to look at so a good thing to do is modify your your Dreamcast so that you don't need to bother about having this bulky uh, external power unit and what I'm going to be doing is modifying this one here the, this is my first NTSEU Japanese oh no North American Dreamcast that I just got on eBay. You can tell by the, the orange swirl there as opposed to the, the blue one and the, the PAL there. Uh, but this is going to get cleaned up. The power supply in this is actually already faulty. So what I'll be doing is taking the top off and just showing you how to basically really simply modify it so it'll play in whatever region you live in. So this mod is really easy to do. You don't need any soldering skills or any kind of technical knowledge to be able to do it. Basically all you're going to be doing is removing the top section of the Dreamcast shell here and replacing the internal power supply unit. So what I've gone ahead and done is bought myself a PAL PSU and you can see in the back here this is where it connects up to the, the power and it's the same kind of connector that's on all regions of Dreamcast and down the front here is where it actually plugs into your, your motherboard. So these are pretty easy to get hold of, you can get them on eBay or you can just salvage them from faulty Dreamcast. So say you've got a, a Dreamcast with a, a faulty disk drive, you can just uh, take the, the power supply out of that and, and use that. So what we're going to do here is just flip the Dreamcast over and remove the, the modem. There's a screw underneath that, so you take that out. On this one it was a security bit, so you might need a, a special screwdriver to get that out. Um, but the rest of them are all just regular Phillips head screws. So there's one in each corner. So once you've done that, you just put the Dreamcast down and you can simply lift the, the top part of the shell off and you can see on this one this has actually got a, a faulty power supply unit in it already you can see where the, or you can maybe see where the the capacitor is kind of blown out across the, the top of the, the shell there, it's all dirty so what we're going to do here is just remove the old power supply unit in this case this is the uh, NTSCU power supply unit and I want to replace this with the, the PAL one so really easy to do, there's a connector here, you just pop that off like so and there's a screw under there and there's one at the front as well so just unscrew those i just get my Phillips head screwdriver and quickly do that so that's one and two go and then all you do is just pop that off like that so that's the old power supply unit there you can see where the capacitor on that one's blown up 
Um, I don't know if maybe someone had plugged that into the uh, UK mains voltage or mains uh, supply and that's what's caused it to, to die but whatever we've got the new one here so I'll go ahead and just pop that into place like so and then I can go ahead and screw it back in really really easy to do there's no uh, soldering or anything like that and just pop that little connector back on as well so now I can go ahead and put this back on put all the screws back in and test it out I, could, should, oh, I should be able to now play uh, my American games with just the regular power cord hooked up to the, the Dreamcast so I'll check that out in just a second so it's all reassembled now and I can go ahead fire it up make sure it all works so I'll just turn it on and yeah it works fine so I can now play my NTSCU games on my NTSCU console without the need for a, an external kind of bulky step up or step down converter like this thing here so that's really cool so you can do this whatever region you're, you're in so you, all you do is switch out the, the power supply unit for whatever region it suits you to have it and uh, yeah very easy to do so Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.